Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Level 8, The Rat Factory. And uh, don't confuse that with your uh, little pest around the house or uh, neighborhood, but uh, it's actually a big tank. We'll take care of that. Uh, towards the end of the level, we're also going to knock out quite a few trophy slash achievements. Not even going to try to list them off, but we are going to get the optional objective, all five of the collectible cards, all three sniper nests, all five war diaries, the long shot, and both weapon parts as well. Whew! That was a lot. So right off the bat, uh, you'll notice that most of the peeps are dead. There are a couple uh, lingering baddies around, but uh, we eradicated most of them for you. And right off to the first of the level there. There's a little walkway you can sneak across. We're gonna follow it all the way across and down the stairs and behind that bookcase is going to be collectible card number one. Some of these are pretty cheeky, I won't lie. They're heading pretty well. Now, uh, speaking of cheeky, we uh, we missed something here in a second. And uh, all right, we're gonna go ahead and grab a sniper nest right quick though. You can see it's kind of a weirdly placed one. It's just like a box on the ground. So go ahead and uh, activate that by pressing the icon indicated. It was X for us. But right here, uh, we actually miss one of the first optional objectives. Uh, there's actually four parts to the only optional objective, and the first part we just ran right by. So we make a mistake, and we come back to that here in a hot second. But we're crossing the bridge, and we're back over on the left-hand side. Kind of a weird edit there, too. Sorry about that. But uh, there were some bad guys, and we didn't want them there, so we took them out first. But around the corner... On the left-hand side, you can see there are some collectibles. So, looking at the map, it's actually the right-hand side. So don't confuse my words and uh, with what's going down. But uh, yeah, then uh, along that same wall, if you keep following it back, left if you're running or south on the map, you'll see War Diary number one sitting right there. So, oh yeah. Now that we've got that, we can uh, backtrack. This is about when our uh, Doug Doug actually realized that, wait a minute, one of the uh, destinations on our uh, GPS is uh, was missed. And look at that. He got all, all smart and, like, ducked and crawled through it, and I tried. Failed! But uh, So I guess that makes us even right now. One fail for each so far. All right, all the way up to the top and right there on the desk. We literally, like, brushed up against it, and that was... Uh, I had no idea it was there, to be honest with you. And uh, we'll go ahead and walk up and press the button indicated to uh, activate the objective and get it updated. So, all right, here we go again. Back across the bridge, and we probably won't be returning over there at all. But we're going to run across this other scaffolding here, which is super sketch, I won't lie. And now we're pretty much caught back up to where we were, where we grabbed that other war diary right there. So I gave a quick glance to it. And we're going to advance on down the stairs. And this was uh, a tricky sniper nest, I, I won't lie. And I gave Doug Doug a little taste of his own medicine there. That's right. A little scratch and sniff, huh? All right, all right. So, although when you get near it, it actually shows you where the sniper nest is. Uh, it's a little tricky knowing that, you know, you got to run up and around. So we do just that and get all the way to the top and look at that. Booyaka shao. This is also where the long shot is. So if you're wondering why we advanced after getting credit for the sniper nest, you now know. And if you couldn't find it, look straight up. Because that dude is way up there. And we take a nice deep breath and bam. Headshot, and uh, we get the A Shot in the Dark trophy achievement, and that one's actually for completing all of the long shots. So congratulate yourself if you have been following along and you rang that off with us. Wee! All right, so you can see there is a bad guy sitting over there, too, and he sees us. We're not too worried about him. I'm going to plug one right in his heart. I'm a heartbreaker. What can I say? And uh, we're going to run over, and we're going to search his body. That's right. We're in the gaffling business today because we need some weapon parts. So get on your knees and start searching that dude's body, even though I'm nowhere near it. There she blows. We're one away from that. And uh, while you got this guy here, you might want to run over to one of the bridges. So there is a bonus trophy achievement for this level called Long Way Down. You can see there was a little bit of an edit there. I, I won't lie. It took me... 20 tosses before I finally got this body through one of these things. So if you find yourself struggling or it just seems like, you know, hey, you're having a harder time than I did, 
just know that I struggled with this for a while. Doug was laughing, and I'm I'm kind of fortunate that the audio was not included, just because how we uh, did it. But uh, finally, I get it. He he was literally convinced that he had did it on a different bridge at this point. Was like, all right, maybe I did it on a different bridge, and he was looking around. That's why he's way over there. But anyhow, I finally get it. Booyakashow. And right around the corner from where we just were inside on a desk is going to be War Diary number two. I don't know what that stuff in that green box was, but uh, it looked worthy of taking too. I'm not sure why he didn't gaffle that up as well. All right, optional objective 1B. This is going to be the second of the plans that you have to find. And this one's a little tricky. It's kind of in here. There's a few other items that look very similar to it. And it almost seems as though we're off the map. Glitchers! No, nope, just weird. Little little room that didn't make the overall map there. So we grab that up and uh, out on the bridge. You probably picked these collectible cards up without even knowing it. But if you didn't, make sure you make your way up to that little crossway there. And we are two away from completing that one, which is glorious. All right, so... Following our trusty Doug Doug up and around here, he points us in the general direction of where the, uh, this isn't the optional, this is the actual primary objective here that we need to do, which is why it's not noted down in the bottom, it's like, you know, you have to do this in order to advance, and I don't know, I guess we didn't really feel like we needed to note that, so, whatever. We go ahead and blow that up from a distance. If you're playing by yourself, be careful. That explosion does uh, carry pretty far. If you're on co-op, make sure both of you guys are a ways away. Or you might have to go back and play some stuff over. But sitting here on the table down here by the main star is going to be another war diary. That's number three. And uh, at this point, we're going to go up the stairs and around. A couple dead dudes there. Lots of bodies all over the place. Again, we had uh, gone ahead and edited all of that out. So you didn't have to watch me noobing it up. I just kind of sit back and watch Doug take everybody out. He knows where, like, every guy is, and he's played this, like, seven times. So, you know, I won't say he's an auto-aim type killer, but it's pretty close. And, uh, yeah, so that was optional objective uh, one, part three, which, uh, as you can see, we did double back down those stairs. I fooled you once we got up there. Sorry about that. Our Doug Doug ran out of internet, and it had to recalibrate, so it took a second. Back in the corner here, this is the rest of the main objective. So, again, something that cannot be missed here. We're going to trifle our way back down them stairs. And once we get downstairs here, there was uh, actually a couple guys that come out, but Doug took them out for us. Thank you, Doug Doug. And uh, once we uh, take out the guys on the elevator, it actually cues a cutscene. I went ahead and removed it just because, you know, you guys that are playing this or looking for collectibles, you, you don't want to see the story, right? Besides, it's the last level. So I did speed this up quite a bit going down this elevator, too. It was really slow, so if it looks a little jittery or whatever, that's why. And, um, yeah, so as soon as we get out here, you'll notice that there's, like, some sort of a melting pot over to the right. But down towards, it's actually straight ahead from where you come out, but you kind of have to go to the right a little bit. You can see there's a guy tagged off in the distance. Uh, Dougie went ahead and tagged that guy for us because he is holding the next weapon part. So, all right, brace yourselves, and, and please forgive me. But, uh, yeah, this is really embarrassing, so I'm going to close my eyes. Uh, ready? Embarrassing part starts now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Damn near took a whole clip of well rod or in my case rod not so well Whew, glad that's over though that was i was not looking forward to that part of the video and there was no way for me to edit that out without it being totally obvious so we went ahead and grabbed that weapon part and uh noticed there's no trophy or achievement for that i was a little disappointed because i thought there would be but it turns out that one is actually attached to the hundred percent uh trophy achievement so i believe it's dedicated soldier i think is what it is and uh, that one, so, so basically, although you need them, you don't get one directly for it. So up at the top of the stairs, all the way up in the corner is uh, collectible card number four. So we're getting really close. Only one left on that. We're going to trudge back down and around and uh, head towards Word Ira 4. So watch out. Liquid hot magma. It's burning hot. Might even need some sunscreen. Well, if you're as pasty as I am anyways. 
All right, so over in the middle, this is actually the giant rat, and, and I don't mean like tail and like, you know, no. I mean giant tank. We're on top of it right now. The War Diary is off to the side, so uh, yeah, be careful while you're up here. Eventually, in the second here, this thing goes to work for us, but it's kind of ridiculous, and I it goes on forever. It's like a four, three or four minute deal, and I had to edit that out too, but... All right, the last War Diary of the campaign, ladies and gents, is back over here on the table in the corner. So uh, look at the, it's a, one of the, by one of the four points you got to plant the demo uh, for the columns or whatever. So woohoo! Archivist trophy slash achievement is now in the books for us. And check this out. Here's going to be the final optional objective part for this level, which is also the final optional objective. So once you grab that up. Nothing is optional trophy achievement. So man, it's starting to rain trophies slash achievements and bad edits for that matter if you're counting because there was another one right there. And uh, we got a little lost on this one. Doug ran right up to it and didn't see it. And I didn't see it either because I didn't know where it was. And uh, we ran around for a minute, but we found it. Here it is. Booyaka Shao 20 of 20. So the gathering. And I'm assuming that's our magic, the card game reference, perhaps. Hmm? Little uh, little joke from the folks over at Rebellion, huh? I'm sure there's probably a bigger connection that I'm not seeing beyond that, but uh, at least I get that part of the joke. I'm not completely in the dark. And now we're just running around. This is the final part of the uh, main objective here. you got to run around and plant four demo charges, and then once you get them all planted, you have to run up to this uh, point of uh, safety, I guess we would call it, and at that point you get to go ahead and blast it, and that'll end the level and end the campaign. And uh, But before we do that, we actually get one more sniper nest. So hold on to your seats, ladies and gents. Well, unless you've already got it, then then that's it. Then, uh, you know, hey, thanks for hanging out and uh, being a part and supporting Happy Thumbs Gaming. And uh, otherwise, let's uh, get lost together because I clearly missed the, st the turn down here. You can see Doug was calibrating down below. Mm. So, all right, the final charge or... Yeah, I guess it's the final one. I think we still have to put one on top, actually. But as soon as you uh, place the one down below, I believe once you have three of them, or no, maybe you do have to plant four, and then the, you have to go up. I don't know. Whatever. I don't even remember. Leave me alone. All right, I watch this rocket shot. Bam! Into the dark. Missed. Got nothing. Oh, all right. So we're going to move along from that now. And we're going to follow our Doug Doug all the way to the top. And, uh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, uh, oh, come on. I thought we were over this. A little bit of, uh, l snug dug there. Anyways, all right. Final charge has been placed. It now tells us to escape the hangar, so hopefully you can get out of here without getting blasted on. We're going to follow the star over here, but once we get over here, watch me try to advance, and Doug's like, nope, don't do it. And I'm like, don't do what? And I try to go... But it's shooting like crazy. I'm like, wait, what? All right, so bad edit there. Literally two to three minutes of that shooting went on. And uh, here we are outside the gates once the shooting stops. And uh, up above, you can see Doug blast the guy right there up top. That's where the final sniper nest is. And we're going to watch Doug break that dude's neck and run up top here. There's one more guy, but our Doug Doug's going to handle him for us. Thank you, Doug Doug. Yay, Doug, yay. All right, final nest. All right, you ready to ring off another trophy or achievement, depending on which platform you're on? Here we go. Look at that bad math from the developers, too. 505, we're going to have to report that. 22 of 32. There's only 22 nests, unless there's something we don't know. But uh, we got the nesting instinct trophy achievement. We're going to go ahead and get our Buyuka Shao on and blast this. We did cut the majority of this final scene out, too. It's weird how the bullet, like, gets there, and then it, like, goes up. Oh, rewind. Let's check it out again from a different angle. And then, boom, we're going to drop some warheads and not the candy that came in my loot crate last month, but the actual warheads. And let the credits roll. All right, pest co control specialist and dedicated soldier as well as the time to reload. So, uh, Shao. Hey, guys, uh, this has been an awesome journey. I know it took us a while to get all the videos out, but we were kind of dragging our feet at the end, and plus I had a little mini vacation I had to go on, so sorry about that. Uh, we're going to ring off all the rest of the points here. We're still noob status as far as our overall rank goes, and uh, we're going to continue to play this game and hop on some uh, multiplayer and stuff like that. I know there's some other challenges too. Look at that long shot. I love that graphic. It looks like a dude's ear getting blown off or something. 
Collect the Picard. Hey! Another weapon part. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Add it up. Yo, yo. Ooh, racy. Close your eyes, youngins. That one is a little cheeky. Hmm. All right, look at that. I've saved the day. You're welcome. And uh, we get all the appropriate marks there, including 101, 505, 33, 505, 101. Oh, yeah. And uh, even some uh, other stuff as well. So, hey, guys, that's it for the actual collectible walkthrough. Congratulations for getting them all. Thanks for sticking through with my ridiculousness. Um, yeah, we appreciate your support. If you guys found this video or video series, for that matter, useful, go ahead and give us a subscribe click. We always appreciate that. Uh, if you guys have any game requests or any other questions, uh, make sure you check out our trophy achievement guide for this and other games on our website at happythumbsgaming.com, as you can see up there. We'd love to hear from you more in person, and uh, you can do that by hopping on Facebook, Twitter. You can always comment or vote down below. Subscribe's already a an option I've tossed out there, so... Uh, you already know that's an option. And uh, rather than fumble some more words, I'll go ahead and bring this to an end, guys. As always, until next time. Mm, recalibrating. Mm, dug, dug. Slip.